Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. If you're a science fiction fan of a certain age, then you can certainly recognize this character, a heuristically programmed algorithmic computer known simply as HAL. Today I will take you through a post-build review of my HAL 9000 model kit from Mobius. G'day, I'm Dan and welcome to my model bench. Mobius first released this kit in 2019, and while Mobius don't have it listed on their website anymore, it's still fairly easy to pick up online. In this video, I'm going to give you a post-build review. That just means I didn't get around to recording all the steps that I did, but I still thought it might be interesting to discuss my experience with the kit and show you the built model. The first thing to know is there isn't a lot of parts in this kit with just seven parts in total. Yes, that is the entire assembly sequence you're seeing there in step one. So if your last kit was from MiniArt, then I think I might have just found the right <gasps> kit for you. The scale is one to one with the movie prop, which for me is a big part of the kit's appeal. Most of your assembly time will be in the making of the multi-part lens assembly, which quite accurately reproduces the actual camera lens that they used in the movie prop for Hal's iconic red eye. The kit even includes decals for the lens aperture and lens brand, which I think is a really nice touch. The kit gives general instructions around the colour scheme for HAL, so I spent most of my time looking at movie stills and videos of HAL to get some ideas about what colour to paint him. Now anyone who builds science fiction models knows what a rabbit hole this can become, because there are so many variables that can change the colour of the prop on screen. In the end I settled on how HAL looked to me in one of the more iconic scenes where HAL is playing chess with one of the astronauts. For painting, I primed the whole model with Mr. Servicer, which seems to work better on this company's kits than the polyurethane style primers that I normally prefer. This is my first time using Mr. Servicer, and I get why people really like it. Once I primed, I then masked the model and sprayed Tamiya bare metal silver from a rattle can to simulate the aluminium outer frame of the prop. Aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium. Now this didn't quite look right, so I oversprayed this with AK Interactive Extreme Metal Polished Aluminium, which did the trick. I used the same colour for the back that holds the lens. For the lens ring itself, which was already a Mr. Surfacer, I painted it with Alclad 2 Aqua Gloss and then applied all the decals. The decals on the lens worked well with Microsol and Set, and then I sealed them all in place with another coat of Alclad Aqua Gloss at the end when they dried. For the speaker grill, I settled on Mission Models Metallic Cold Rolled Steel. Now, I haven't been that impressed with the Mission Models Metallic Paints in the past, but I tried again with this and I've got to say I was really impressed with the result. I applied very thin coats and built up the finish, which to be fair, is exactly what Mission Models says you should do in their tutorials. I mean, who knew following instructions would work? Anyway, it came out looking great. I was experimenting with decal solutions at the time, so I tried a different solution from Tamiya for the HAL 9000 decal, and that turned out to be a big mistake. It was too strong, and the decal broke apart. I ended up losing part of the blue portion of the decal. Much cursing later, I looked through my paint stash, grabbed some colours, and mixed up a custom colour, and painted it in the missing colour of the decal. A clear coat was then put over the face of the model to seal in the decal, and the catastrophe was averted. The electronics are very simple and they all come pre-soldered and ready to go. You just insert the red LED into the hole in the back of the model, attach a 9 volt battery and you have the glowing eye of HAL. I did a trial run of the LED before I glued the two clear parts that make up the front of the lens in place. It looked good, but I thought the red LED looked too focused with just the clear parts in front of it. I decided to take the inner clear lens and tint it with X19 Tamiya Smoke thinned down with Tamiya's lacquer thinner, and applied it in very light coats. I laid the lens down on a sheet of white paper as I worked to get a more accurate view of how much I tinted the part, and then I tested the tinted lens over the red LED until I was happy with how it looked. I then glued the clear parts in place using Ammo Mig's Ultra Glue. This is a new glue on the market, and it works really well, but be warned it is very sticky and if you get it on your fingers, you will transfer it onto absolutely everything you touch. Just ask me now, I know. Fortunately, I was able to fix this by wiping off the glue with some Vallejo thinner before the glue had set. And really, that's about it. 
This kit looks fantastic once assembled, but it's not perfect. I would imagine many folks would want to hang their finished model on a wall, which makes the absence of any place on the back of the model for a hook quite baffling. Similarly, while the red LED has an on-off switch, which fits neatly in the slot on the side of the model, the battery itself is just held in place with some double-sided tape like an afterthought, which it is. What the kit really needed was a back panel that had a place for a hook and a battery compartment that held the battery safely in place. It's a baffling omission, and Mobius must be aware of it, as they've even suggested in instructions that you might want to make your own backing for the model. This builds into a really nice representation of the HAL movie prop and it's not a hard kit to build. Just take your time with the painting and masking and indeed you could paint the whole model with rattle can paints if you want to too, just in case you don't want to use an airbrush. In the end, if you're a science fiction fan, then this kit comes highly recommended. My HAL takes pride of place above my TV, just keeping an eye on things. If you enjoyed the video, please consider a thumbs up and subscribing as that always keeps YouTube happy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.